personal alternates would differ? Like, what acting roles did your alternate get that you didn't get? <laughs> uh -huh. People ask that all the time, and I have no idea what my alternate would be. I can never answer. Because Fringe, for example, the whole thing from the beginning of, of Fringe has been that a decision, a chance decision in your life will take you off into different tangents. That's what we've witnessed in the alternate universe. So it could be, you know, you took a left turn instead of a right turn and uh, fell in love with the woman you loved and went off to live in Ethiopia and had 15 children. Who knows what would happen with different choices? Just well, that's what I found interesting with those sides because my two characters ended up in exactly the same place. Exactly, yeah. So essentially they've made pretty much the same choices all the way. It's just like, with just subtle, subtle differences. So it's true. I guess I... But Belle was killed early in the other, in the other yeah. universe, for example, so things like that can happen. I guess yes. that is true, yeah. So it's, yeah, you're right. It could go either way for that yeah. one. Uh, are you glad you're on a show where dying doesn't necessarily mean the end of your job? <laughs> yes. Because <Yes. laughs> I died. <laughs> and I shot too. <laughs> yeah. Is, is Walternet pure evil or is he just kind of misunderstood? No, I don't think he's, he's, he's either. I think he's responding. He's responding understandably for a man whose son was stolen. And I think he's also responding responsibly, responsibly for a man who's trying to save his world. I'm not saying he's a nice man, but uh, I understand why, why he does what he does. And, and he's doing a great job. He's, he's trying to save his world. And people do forget that he, and there was that great scene where you're like, I didn't start this. Yeah. Like, yeah. This was not me. You came over <coughs> and you took so. From a defensive point, completely yeah. Completely, that people seem to forget because then he went on. Yeah. And, 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 and frankly, did the right thing. You know, he, because their world was uh, disintegrating over there so fast, he was the one that team to stop attacking. Uh, my final question, where, uh, where is the alternate Gene Nakao? What do you think he's up to? <laughs> Probably just in a meadow. Will we ever somewhere. find out? <laughs> I, I hope we find out. Because I love Gene Nakao. <laughs> As you should. He's awesome. Yeah. I'm not sure if Walternet does that. So, so you don't have you're saying that like... Gene Nakao is Walternet's dinner is what you're saying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have to go there. <laughs> that makes me very sad. I hate that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks I really guys. appreciate Thank it. You. Hi, Anna. Hi, John. I'm Tom from Weedonopolis. Hi. Uh, related question for each of you. Anna, you knocked it out of the park with three different roles. <laughs> Olivia, faux Olivia, and Belle Olivia. Which one was your favorite to play? Um, I, look, I have, when, when faux Olivia arrived, like faux Olivia, I, um, that's, she's just been a treat. She's the gift that keeps on giving. I didn't know that she was going to be around for so long, and I'm super thrilled that she's going to continue. So she was, you know, she's been my favorite, I think. And John, he asked you the question about Walternet being evil and misunderstood. But who's more fun to play? The, 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 Walternet's more fun and to play? Current day Walter. Oh, uh, Walternet with a grudge. No, no, no Walter. Walter. Oh, Walter. <laughs> yeah, Walter. The, the old Walter from this. Because he's so random. And he's got no social boundaries. <laughs> he's got all sorts of fetishes and fads. So he's great fun. Out of curiosity, Walter and Astrid, do you think if he was a little younger there'd be something going on between the two of them? I don't think he'd know what to do with it. I think, <laughs> I, I, I think he might have taken too many drugs. Uh, there, there is a love affair between it's, you two, though. It's so I beautiful. think Walter's, Walter thinks of Peter and Olivia and Astrid like things of really beloved children. That's, well, that's what the interpretation I take. So, um, yeah, he, he adores Astrid, but in terms of, I think he would find it a bit strange to sex with her, I think that would be, <laughs> oh, who knows, <coughs> that would be very odd. How did you enjoy the romance with Peter from two different angles, from oh, yeah, the from evil or maybe not so evil version of yourself and the normal version of yourself, and being jealous of yourself? I know. Well, I always joked because I sort of had assumed that when um, Olivia arrived on this side, because she'd had the conversation with Olivia in the alternate universe when they were having the fight. She's like, is this because of a guy? So when she got here, she was so kind of full on because I think she thought that they'd just been together. That was where it was at. And so I don't know how Peter coped with that. would have been a bit of a shock. <laughs> Last question, John. If Walter had a choice, our Walter had a choice, knowing what he was going to do to both universes, do you think he still would have kidnapped Peter? No matter the consequence. Well, because he was, he was a, because he was an incredibly brilliant optimist, he would have dealt with the next problem after he solved the first one, I believe. Because there's no drive stronger than a parental problem to save a child. So, 
Thank you so much.